What is up guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Kikes. It's been a while since I made a video. I'm excited to start making them again. And I got a new project that I'm gonna be working on. So let's just cut to it. Check it out. So I'm sitting inside my brand new to me 2000 Chevy Silverado uh, single cab short bed has that 4.8 liter Vortec LS motor that everybody wants to swap nowadays um, she got about a hundred and seventy three thousand miles on her but that's okay these Chevy motors are built to last and uh i guess we got our first mod today and let me go show you guys what we're gonna do so when i bought the truck it came with one key and it did come with two key fobs but the other one doesn't work right now or the battery's dead or whatever so what i'm gonna do today Got this package in the mail. This company right there. And we got three new keys, a new ignition switch. You know what? Let's open this up. So it came with three new keys, the ignition cylinder. And then the two door doors lock cylinders. So we're gonna be changing these out. Um, it's not that I don't trust the previous owner, but I don't trust anybody. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do there's two uh, T25 torque screws under here. So I'm gonna take that off first. Get this cover off. to break this thing. Okay, so you gotta pull this tilt, uh, column tilt lever. You gotta pull it straight out. So I pulled it out already, but just to show. And it just clicks back in into place. Now I can go back to wrestling with this thing again. Come right out. Without breaking this. Oh, 
There's also a reverse Torx screw holding the top cover on. So yeah, I'm gonna get that out now. I got the top part out. I didn't break it. Got it out. Okay, so with the battery disconnected, you want to get something to you can put in this hole over here. And you want to turn this all the way like you're going to start it. Stick this thing in the hole. And then should come out. Yeah. There. So you just pushing this thing down so you can pull it out. Okay. So these two pins is what is getting stuck they ride inside of this like uh, these holes and it's kind of made a groove inside so on the new one nice and fresh see that So I'm going to take the new key and put the new cylinder in. Go ahead. So now I got the new cylinder, new key, and I'm going to stick this thing back just like that. Okay guys, I got everything back together. Make sure you get the boot. Properly seated. This boots bust up. Not for me, but I gotta order a new one. But I got it back together. Check this out. Got the new key in. Butter. Like butter. Look at that. Okay, now that that's done, let's go do the doors. Okay, so to change the door um, lock cylinders, first we gotta take off the door panel. So to do that, there's only there's one seven millimeter screw under here, and I think there's one more behind this. So you gotta take this off first. Well, before I do that. You're gonna see how ugly the door panel really is. Cause this truck used to be, you'll see, you'll see. Look at that shit. Should we paint it back to red? Uh, make sure you roll the window up first because you got to be able to reach screws back there. Let's connect the window switch.
I'm pretty sure that's all there is. Because I already practiced another door, so. You just lift up, there's nothing holding it in. There's hooks that hold it up. You lift up. There you go. Just lift up. Disconnect whatever. Oh, this dome light. Okay, there's three 10 millimeters that hold that um, the door handle on so you can get one through here and then there's one that pop this rubber piece that got painted you can see in there Yeah, and then the third one, the third one is up on this side. So if you come on this side of the window regulator and stick your hand up, you can reach it. I'll show you. Not to drop the screws in the door because then you'll be looking for them for a while. Yeah. And the last one. I just noticed the plastic's not on this door. Fuh. Okay. <coughs> Three screws out. <coughs> These things should be loose. Now you can disconnect these. Just flip that plastic clip out, rotate it, and then this one too. Now we're gonna take off this crusty clip and get there's a spring clip in here. Take that out and then we'll replace this. Let's go. First, I'm gonna get this clip off.
and this spring clip right there is a little bitch. But I think it's easy if you get off one side. Like that. There. Now this old pops out. Um, this thing came with these, uh, I don't know, bushing washer stuff, but I'm not gonna put them in. <clears throat> and it only goes in one way. That's pretty crusty. Put the lock ring back on. Bango. And this guy goes back. Can only go in one way, so no worries. And then the clip. It goes, uh, it's bent so that it's spring loaded. So you want to make sure it's, I don't know what you call it, springing down, I guess. I don't know. You'll see. So the ends are going to be pushing down on the clip and not vice versa. Okay, now this clip is on, holding it in place. I found you just reverse the process. Uh, so you push this thing in, slide down, lock it. So until you can use the handle to move it, put it in, flip around. Good. <clears throat> Open the handle. You can get this in. Okay, so I got the door panel back on and everything's working. So let's test out our new key. Where the key at? This is our lock. New key. Let's unlock. Let's lock. Nice and locked. Unlock. Lock. Unlock. You guys notice the um, God, the lock mechanisms are kind of sticky, but so these uh, power door lock actuators always go bad, and if you notice, there's somebody put an aftermarket cylinder thing in there, but uh. 20 years old so I'll probably see if I can replace them it's probably cheaper they, they want this aftermarket way than to replace the actual piece the what you call that stuff power door lock actuator pretty sure that's what it's called but yeah so now um let's go program the new remotes okay when I bought the car Came with one key and 
two key fobs. But um, the other one doesn't work because the battery is dead or whatever. So I'm going to be programming the new key fob from Boost Auto Parts. And it's like the, it's like the newer cars, um, the newer Silverados and GMs and stuff. So, and it looks better too. So, okay. So you're supposed to stick your key in the ignition. Hold down the unlock button and cycle twice. On, off, on, off. Okay. Is that the one? Uh -huh. Okay, so now we're in programming mode. So I'm gonna hold down these two buttons. It's supposed to be 15 seconds, but we already did this and it was a little bit longer than 15 seconds, so we just wait. Yeah, once you hear that sound, it's programmed. So now, unlock, lock. This one's working. The original one, nothing. So now I'm gonna have to do it all over again because I'm gonna program this one back. But as you can see, when you do the new ones or whatever remotes you have, you gotta do it at one time and all the other remotes out there no longer work, so... Yeah! On, off, on, off. There. So I'm programming this one. Sounds good. I'm gonna program this one. Now. Okay, now this one should be working. And this one should be working. Okay, so this old key is trash. Keys and the ignition, so three keys, the ignition lock cylinder and the two door cylinders from this Wolf security hardware on eBay. This is 98.96 plus free shipping, but ain't no free shipping in Hawaii, man. They pay five bucks for shipping. It wasn't that bad. It fit in a flat rate box. And as far as the key fob, that came from Boost Auto Parts. And I paid 50 bucks to get that one key fob thing shipped over here, man. It, shipping be killing us in Hawaii, but... I guess it's the price we pay. So I hope you liked that video. And if you stick around, I got more videos coming like that. We'll be working on this truck. Um, actually the next video, I'm gonna be slamming it to the ground. I already got my drop kit in. Check it out. <clears throat> Some shackles over here. So I'll be dropping this truck. Uh, it's gonna be a Magoy's 4.6 drop. Um, right now it has two inch shackles on the back, so it kind of makes it level out. So I'll be taking those two inch shackles off. Oh. I got some brand new stock shackles. We'll be doing the flip kit, so that'll give us six inches in the back. Um, for the front, I got some coil springs on the way. I got the two inch drop spindles and I'm gonna go two inch drop springs. <clears throat> also, we got brand new uh, Beltec shocks. And I don't know, just stick around because if you like that kind of content, um, you'll be getting it soon. 
And thanks for watching, guys. I hope you liked it. Don't forget, subscribe, like, all that stuff. And until next time, I'll see you in the next video. Peace.